everyone, it's Jean from the Inky Owl Studio. Welcome back to my channel. I have been having such a great time playing with my paper dolls. Um, as I had mentioned in my last previous vi videos, they've been sitting around inside my uh, storage for so long and uh, I should have gotten these out a lot sooner. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to show you some of the pages that I've been working on in my newest uh, journal, which I'm calling By the Letter. It's going to have a vintage, um, grungy kind of a theme to it. And uh, so this is the first one, this little girl with her little bouquet. I've been putting little, um, been trying to have some fun with it, a little mixed media fun. So I put on some butterfly wings and um, of course my fabric, I always like to, to work with fabric. Uh, I've also been working with this uh, tape that you can make to make it look vintage. A lot of people out there have done it. Um, it's just basically taking tape and putting it on something that can peel off quickly, like either an old backing of a sticker, a sheet, or the waxy side of freezer papers, what I used. And then you just uh, take a sponge and take your um, distress inks. It needs to be the inks because that's what will really dry or excuse me, it'll dry fast but it'll really stain it and you just rub over it and voila so that's been kind of fun to kind of have have those uh, have that just to put in there randomly then i started thought you know i really need to have some more fun with these so i did this little bag and um little glassine bag here and i have this little guy he's so cute and he's pointing down here and in this little tiny pocket I have a tiny little envelope. Aren't these cute? So cute. And then inside it's a little um, little thing. Like it looks like a little letter. And you can write stuff on it, of course, on the other side. So it's like a little secret place. But not too secret because he knows about it. See the little stories I make up? <laughs> I mean, isn't that what you do when you play with paper dolls? You make stories. Then I um, thought, well, I need to be a little bit more interactive. So I started, instead of sealing up the whole area, I started making places to put pockets in. So that I can put ephemera in there, journaling cards or whatever can, can fit inside there. And another small envelope I tucked inside here. And another one here with this little guy sitting on a number. So I got a lot of inspiration from uh, both Susie from the Cat Creative Cafe Girl and the Somerset Magazine uh, and its article on uh, by the book <clears throat> by Connie Chung Young. Oh, excuse me, it's Fong F O N G. I'm sorry. And um, so this is uh, the other one and. So those are three or uh, three or four samples uh, just to let you know where I'm going on that. It's just been so much fun. Now I did come up with this page um, that gives you six tuck spots. And I'm sure somebody's done this before. I don't know who. I'm sorry if you've done this and I've not <laughs> recognized you, but I was just folding and, and just came up with it myself. I needed more places to slip letters or photographs or um, ephemera. So this has one here and it has one here and you open it up and there's one here. There's a tuck here. There's a larger tuck in here and on the back there's another tuck. And so this, of course, you know, you get you so along here and it goes in your journal. So uh, I thought maybe I'd show you what I did in case, you know, you're interested. It would just be a way to increase uh, places to put your ephemera or your whatever it is you, you want to store. Uh, first of all, I took two, you know, eight and a half by 11 sheets of paper and I cut them. I, I, in my case, I cut off a half inch. But what I needed to do was to make them the, the height of my journal. So this is the height of it. And that, that's the first thing. But you know, don't but leave the length the way it is. I went ahead and inked around all the edges 
uh, it, it's just a little easier to do it before you assemble everything. Now I overlap it at least four inches. And um, if you, now this paper is, is pretty heavy weight, it's like a 27 pound uh, paper. But if you're using uh, a more inexpensive brand of paper that might only be 22, 24, something like that, you may want to reinforce these edges. And uh, one way would be to, to fold them over just, you know, a little tiny bit, just fold them over. Uh, or you can take washi tape, glue some washi tape, you know, down there. Just because if you've tea dyed your paper, it may be a little, um, you know, easy, easier to rip. That's the only suggestion. Um, you know, and maybe it won't make any difference at all, but that's just one thing I could think of if you're not using the same paper as I am. So the first thing you want to do, of course, is overlap about four inches, and then you're going to want to glue or sew from here to here, the, you know, those four inches. And you'll want to do it up here, and you'll want to do it down there. So I'm going to step away for a second and sew that, and I'll be right back. So now we've sewn those four inches on the top and bottom. Now the next thing is I need to locate where the middle is. So we're going to fold it in half this way. So this fold here is, indicates where it's going to be sewn into your signature. And that's the middle. Now for these sides here, I will fold these in, but I have to make sure that I fold them in the distance or the width of my um, of my page. So the width of my page is right about here. So I'll just uh, measure those up. Yep, that's about right, right about there. So you want to fold this side and um, the width, the width of your one page, and then come back down this way, fold again, and now you're going to create a tuck in here. So you've got a tuck here and a tuck inside here. You've got two tucks, and then you want to sew or glue. You'll want to glue this down on the edges here, and then you'll want to glue or sew this all together here on both ends. Now, what I do, because there's already a tuck here on this side, I don't fold this paper in this way. What I do is I fold it on the opposite side. So that I have, um, you know, so that each page has its own tuck. Let me come back here like so. All right. So you see that you have uh, one side getting folded in like this and the other side getting folded back so that there's a tuck here, tuck here, tuck on this page, and a tuck on this page. Now at this point, if you want to, before you glue or sew, you need to ink along here and ink along here. If there is something special you want to sew onto the flap um, before you get started, or before you finish it up, then this is the time to sew that something here, you know, a piece of cloth or a lace or whatever it is that you would like to add to that. Now is the time to add that. If you're not sewing anything, then um, you can glue it on at any time. So let me go ahead and finish that up, and then I'm going to be sewing here and sewing down here, and I'll be right back. So now I have finished. Um, sewing it across at uh, both bottoms and tops and you have now your um you have a large tuck and the small one uh you know kind of a small medium small one 
small one here, a large, uh, small one here, a larger one here, and I have a medium one here. So you've got your tucks on here, and then what I do is when it comes to decorating, I basically stick to just decorating the smaller flaps. So I'll decorate, I decorate this one. Now this one has the bigger tuck, but I just decorated the smaller strip there. And, you know, that's what I did. Um, I think it's sufficient, but of course you may want to do more. Um, but anyways, that's what I did to create this pages with all these tucks. I did in the first one so here, but that was like totally unnecessary. Um, did not like the way that was too much. So yeah, you don't need to sew it where I did just across here and across there, you know, with your tucks. Now, um, you know, this is, of course, I'm using this dark thread and I'm being kind of, you know, sloppy with it because that's kind of the look that I'm going for. Um, if you want something kind of neat looking more neater than that, then gluing is probably the way you want to go or just uh, have to be really sure that you stay um, on the straighter stitch. And then the one final thing that I would recommend doing is uh, as far as these little tucks here, um, probably you should glue, put a little strip of glue on the inside, just a little bead of glue along here, and have two places for small uh, ephemera to stick into. If you allow a larger place like that, um, it's, it's kind of easier for it to fall out. You know, if you, it's a little bit tighter if you glue it, you know, halfway through. Of course, your ephemera has to be smaller, but anyways, that's the one thing that I would recommend you do and what I am plan to do on mine. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for viewing. And um, I am going to start, keep working on this. I'm going to start working on um, more ephemera to put into the journal. And I'm also working on the pockets, the, the larger storage pockets that are, that are going to be in, in the middle of each signature. So I will be doing that next video. And thanks a lot for viewing. I hope everyone is staying healthy and safe and that your family is as well. Um, and uh, hopefully this won't be long before this um, health crisis is over. I am praying that it will be <laughs> short-lived, and um, my prayers and best wishes goes out to anybody who's been affected, either themselves or their family. Uh, so anyways, thanks for viewing, and we'll talk to you later. Have a crafty day. Bye!